Hi, so this is my reflection for my final inquiry project for EDT E55. Um, so after doing this project, I was kind of writing a reflection and decided, hey, it's my last ed reflection. I might as well make a good, good one. So I thought I would videotape myself to make it a little more personable. Um, so next year at MMU, um, I won't be challenged with a great deal of refugee students, um, which is what my project was on. Um, however, um, these important issues I think I need to keep in mind um, so I can successfully teach my students about the refugee people. Um, no matter the ethnic layout of my classroom, I hope to have all my students understand the importance of being open-minded and understanding of other cultures. Um, this is why I thought this project was really important to take a look at as a teacher and not just because I'm going to be teaching at a really diverse school or a not diverse school. I just thought it's an important issue. Um, so I, and I, I think it's important because the refugee people can teach us a lot about ourselves, but also about each other and just about different groups of people. Um, after researching about this program, I came up with a lot of strategy, strategies, which you'll find in my project, um, that I thought were really important to help um, teach the refugee population. And like I said, I think it'll also help me as a teacher, even if I'm not teaching refugee students. Um, these are strategies that, yeah, they help students that are, that come from really different areas of the world that we were, that we were, grew up in. Um, and I think that's important that I understand these because it is true that all students are different and whether they grew up in a refugee camp or in the suburbs of Vermont, um, I think it's important that the strategies are kept in mind and we never forget them because you don't know where a student comes from, whether they're white, black, rich, poor, you don't know. So I think these strategies can, can be important in a range of students. Um, and I, I had noted in my reflection that I really wished I had taken this class before I did my student teaching at Burlington High School because um, it would have been really helpful over there. Um, one thing that I really learned during this project, and especially during class, but that I kind of just reiterated a lot and read a lot about, um, was the importance of including families into the classroom, into the school. Um, because without a strong family background, the student success rate instantly goes down. So um, including parents, and whether they're, again, refugee parents or parents of mine at MMU next year, it's really important to make sure that they're included. and that their different cultures are included in the classroom as well. Um, yeah, so I did have some challenges. Um, like I said in class, when we went over our projects, I was planning interviewing um, a family from South Hero, Vermont, um, and it actually didn't work out, which was kind of unfortunate. And I think if I had a lot more time, like over the summer, um, it would have worked out. The main reason was the, um, the, the mother of the family um, is a math teacher, and she was so busy this week with school um, that she wasn't able to meet with me or answer my questions over email, um, which really stunk. Um, but I think what it really taught me was, um, I mean, she teaches in a pretty non-diverse school, um, but I thought it was important to note that, that with her job, she still finds time to teach her family and her students about the culture that she's learning about through being a mentor at the refugee program. Um, and she doesn't have to, and she's a very busy woman, but she chooses to do that. And I think that's important to keep in mind that if you're not involved in diversity within your school, there's a community surrounding us everywhere that's diverse that we can get involved in and that we can then in turn teach our family and friends and students about. So I thought that was really cool. And I really wish I um, could have spoke with her more in depth about it. I've spoken to her on a lighter note, um, but not really getting involved in like how it's helped her with education. So hopefully in the future, um, I will be seeing her more lately. So over the summer, so I'm hoping that I can really kind of break it down and hear more about it. Cause I'm interested in it and being a part of the refugee program while still working at MMU, I think would be a really awesome experience to kind of keep me, um, grounded and keep me, you know, involved in what's going on in Burlington. Um, I also had some trouble um, figuring out which information I wanted to put in in this piece. Um, 
there's a lot on the refugee program and there was a lot I really could have talked about and different paths I could have taken. Um, I hope this path was the best choice. Um, I think it was, and I, it was some of the stuff I was most interested in and I thought the stuff I would get the most out of. So in the long run, I'm happy with it, but there was so much information I could have, I could have gone with. Um, so that's about it. I had a really good time kind of getting more into the refugee program. We got to talk about it a lot in class, which I thought was awesome, but reading about it on my own was also really cool. And I really liked using the Prezi program. I was originally going to write a paper, but when I saw what this program was, I'd never seen it before. I wanted to give it a try. Um, I had a lot of fun with it and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Um, I think I kind of have a knack for these kind of things. So it's kind of, it's something I, I hope I could use in my future classroom eventually some, I don't know how I'd work it into math, but I think I could figure it out. So thanks. And I hope you liked my project and my reflection.